the reason for this app being toxic for you is just the for you pages fault which from what i've deciphered works like this first you get the funny then meme then your insecurity then hot girls or men which can also count as insecurity and then memes and then the sixth one would most likely be this is a sign like a random letter popping up and saying that she's the one everybody on this app tries to be so pc and they pretend that a 400 pound woman is healthy and hyper up with compliments that are in their minds trying to help but they're definitely not being genuine telling someone i'm loving the confidence sis implies that in a normal setting that person would not be confident which is true or you're so brave you're so brave for wearing a dress like come on man that's just a straight up roast at that point people who are at an unhealthy weight should lose or gain weight for their own good but what they do with their bodies is up to them neither me or you are the body fat cop the cholesterol patrol the scale sheriff okay the real problem comes when they actually healthy people develop unrealistic expectations on how they should look you might be watching this and most likely you think you're not beautiful enough if you're a man you might think you don't have a six pack you could always have broader shoulders bigger muscles do you want a bite i'm on a diet but thank you no need to lose any weight you're kidding right you look great very fit you can always be thinner look better and if you're a woman watching this you might think you need to hit the gym because men don't like big booty hoes with fat tits and fatter asses the weirdest thing is that 18 year old girls are getting bbl surgeries which has the highest death rate in cosmetology one in three thousand patients die because of this surgery all because girls want to look better and don't think they're good looking enough and want bigger asses without actually doing any work and you can't really blame anyone for not feeling good looking enough if you're on tiktok like most young adults are you're constantly bombarded with extremely hot men and girls here's the thing about happiness boys let me just quote to Yale on this one all of them started this program because they thought that weight loss was gonna make them happy right and so here are the data I'm just gonna plot how much uh, of folks have a depressed mood so now bigger bars are worse and so here's folks that lose weight folks that are stable on their weight and folks that gain weight and at baseline they're about the same but four years later in fact the folks that lost weight are actually in the worst category. They're the ones reporting the most depressed mood. And if anything, it's almost like double the kinds of depressed mood that we see in other folks. I want you to try something. If you have TikTok downloaded right now, open the app and scroll through the first 15 videos that are not memes and see how many are positive and how many are negative, how many make you feel better and how many worse. A lot of legit good looking people think they're ugly just because they don't look like any of these girls or men on their For You page. <laughs> There is so much stupid shit on TikTok, it's absolutely unbelievable. It's like something about a Chinese spyware app attracting insane people. And ironically, these are stupider than my drunk tweets and that's a hard case to fucking beat. I once was a young man, still am, when I was younger I thought astrology was weird. But this doesn't even compare bro. Once you go through your fair share of talking to art hoes, you will inevitably arrive at witches. Witch talk, as it's called, is where people share crystals, tarot card readings, spells and magic. Like, am I the fucking idiot here for not believing that magic exists? And honestly, when a person you know in real life that you've thought was sane to some degree starts speaking to you about crystals or spells, it's just so disappointing. If anyone can find me any proof that crystals work, I will get on my knees and deep throat his dick so bad I puke. I really don't want to go into witch talk too much, it's, it's, a, it's a very large, very weird thing. So, for you people that don't know what reality shifting is, it's a way to move your consciousness from your current reality to your desired reality where you actually get hoes. Most people do it to go to Hogwarts. Now, you don't need to be fucking Einstein to realize that you can't reality shift. Some people think it's lucid dreaming, but others think they can legit shift into another reality. The way this is done according to experts is you meditate, which is good, meditation is very based, and then you listen to subliminals which are basically like home instrumentals and count to a hundred. Then you get a detailed script of your desired reality. For example, example this is a harry potter script where you're supposed to fill in the blanks and then you need the specific shifting method the most popular one is the raven method where you lay in a starfish position on your bed counting to a hundred while subliminals are playing i'm not the one to judge 
just girls with daddy issues but if you need to switch your reality to get some dick from Draco Malfoy which is unironically why some people do this just please go outside and talk to actual men like trust me man people on the internet and in real life are very different I know how tempting it can be to use the app you just gotta realize that you'd be better off without it you won't even miss out on the memes because most of the memes already get reposted to Instagram or any other social media you use just anything but TikTok it's literally targeting your insecurities to make you feel bad about yourself that's why when you're lonely you see couples being together and then it cuts to a black guy crying singing I'm a get it one day why if you think you don't look good you just see the most attractive people if you're making progress in your fitness journey it shows you how other people made better progress basically fuck TikTok I don't know what kind of Chinese spyware engineering magic the app uses but it clearly knows a lot about its user I've had it deleted for a few months now and trust me I am not missing out on anything so do yourself a favor and delete the app for your own mental health like and subscribe goodbye